So NVIDIA is finally listening to its customers and fixing a mistake or a problem that has been plagued us all NVIDIA users for a long time and that is their graphic driver app. Now NVIDIA have two different set of application to control their graphics hardware. One is a GeForce control panel or a NVIDIA control panel and another is a GeForce experience. Now let's start with the NVIDIA control panel. Now this control panel will give you access to almost every single thing that you want to tweak with your GPU. It gives you plethora of options for controlling your video output, your audio output and your global settings for your graphics card. Now that is really good but the major problem with that control panel that it looks old for a new user who bought his first nvidia gpu or heck who bought his first gaming pc that control panel can look very scary if you don't know what you're doing and change settings by a wimp you can get into a trouble which again it's not gonna kill your hardware but the benefit of this particular application is it gives you granular control over every single thing now if this looks scary then you have another application a geforce experience where you will be able to download and update your drivers you can use first party nvidia features like their overlay and screen recording features and also you can change game per game settings without even entering into the game. The biggest problem with the GeForce experience is that it asks you for a login. Without logging in in that particular application, without having an account with NVIDIA, you cannot even download and update your drivers through this application. Obviously, you can download it separately from NVIDIA's uh, website and then install it. But if you want a creature comfort, then you have to use this application. But to use this application, you need an account with NVIDIA and you need to log in every single time. And that worsens the experience so much because at the end of the day, NVIDIA is a hardware company which needs to make software to maintain their hardware. And this is what I believe. No hardware company should force you to have an account with that company and also force you to log in in an application which is essential to make sure that your hardware is working properly and having two separate apps just to do one thing separately makes the experience much much worse so to tackle all these problems nvidia now have a new application and that is simply a nvidia app in this app you will have all the features that were in control panel and all the features that were in geforce experience they are merging them together and adding some new features but the biggest benefit of this app that is you don't have to log in anymore currently the app is in beta and also you would still need the nvidia control panel and the nvidia geforce experience although the geforce experience is not needed if you install it this but the control panel is needed because it doesn't have all the features that were in the control panel and nvidia promised that they will slowly migrate all the control panel features to this new app this looks cleaner this looks way more modern and less scary for a new user you have your home section you have a graphic section you have a redeem section and you have a settings on the graphic section you can change every single graphic settings per game basis or global and if you don't want to change every single settings then nvidia will give you a sliding bar from best performance to best quality and it will optimize your game according to that particular setting then onto the driver section it's same as geforce experience you will be able to switch from game ready drivers to studio drivers and you will be able to get all the latest drivers in this section and download them and install them with it. and they redesigned the whole in-game overlay which previously if you active the in-game overlay it will take up the entire screen and 
the sectioning, the design, everything wasn't really that much intuitive. But now it looks modern, it looks cleaner and not only that, some of the overlay features like the frame counter or the advanced frame counter that Nvidia used to have, where you will be able to look every single minute settings while playing a game, it looks modern, they made it smaller and you can change it as per your Required. Not only this, NVIDIA is also offering some new features like their AI filter. With it, using AI, NVIDIA will be able to make your games visually better. For example, RTX HDR. Using this particular AI filter, you will be able to transform your standard game or SDR game to HDR if you have a HDR model. And also another AI filter is RTX Dynamic Vibrance. Now according to their uh, website, it just boosts up a little bit of brightness like what Vibrance do in a photo editor app. If you have edited any photos on any application ever, photo editing application, you will see whenever you slide the Vibrance bar, it makes it brighter and it punches more color. It looks like that it does that but the problem that i have with this rtx feature that these are rtx exclusive feature uh, so if you have a gtx graphics card then you won't be able to use it I, I don't know why because it just gives a little bit more vibrance why not implement it in every single gpu you have but honestly this is a great move by nvidia you don't have to have two different applications to control one single thing. It looks modern, it looks cleaner, it looks easy for new users. They don't have to go to Nvidia's control panel and get confused what to do, how to do and how it would affect your gaming experience or overall PC browsing experience. This makes it way more simpler, way more easier and I love it for this reason. But again, this is in the beta phase. So if you want to download it, download it. It will, it might have some bugs, problems and until Nvidia moves all the features and settings from control panel to this app, you still would have two different applications, this Nvidia app, then Nvidia control panel. So if you're up for that, download this, use it and let me know in the comment section that how it have improved your driver downloading and installing experience. And honestly, this, this seems like so modern day problem that I am making a video, not only me, a lot of people making video about an application that makes driver downloading experience, basically the driver downloading experience a little better and that is making us happy. So but I digress, if you want to watch more videos from us, check out this video right here and if you need to subscribe to the channel, you can do it by here and there's Akash and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.